Chichi Bridie here with some food wise tips for the new year and the topic for our vlog vlog today is broccoli. So broccoli 101 food wise tips or how to get your kids to eat broccoli. So I love broccoli. And the icon for this video is a lot of broccoli. I usually get a lot of broccoli and cook a lot uh, at one time. It really freezes uh, very nicely, and uh, but usually it's gone in three or four days. And uh, broccoli is so versatile. You can eat it raw or steamed. My preference is steamed. And uh, I refer you to my blog where I uh, am posting a series of um, photos uh, showing me in the process of steaming, of cooking, and cleaning uh, the broccoli. Um, a lot of people eat it roasted, and I've actually vlogged on that before. Um, cooking does alter the nutrient profile of the broccoli, but uh, in food-wise thinking, we're not going to get super bogged down with, um, with, with the nutrients in the broccoli. It's high in vitamins and minerals, it's high in fiber, and if you are worried that it's too high in fiber, you can just eat a little less. But for most of us, that's not going to be a problem. What we need to do is kind of think about broccoli in a new way because it is such a delicious and nutrient-rich food. It can be tricky to grow. So also in food-wise thinking, we're concerned about its production too. And of course, one very tricky uh, part of it has to do with broccoli that we are importing just not food wise to be importing broccoli i've also blogged on this before from uh, valleys in mexico and uh, as part of my work i uh, take students to the state of guanajuato uh, in mexico which is the site of a lot of our winter broccoli production but that winter broccoli production uses quite a lot of chemicals and as if not more importantly, uh, is depleting groundwater. And the very little groundwater that remains is contaminated with fluoride and arsenic, which is um, naturally found in uh, the bedrock. But when it leaches out into water and there's so little water remaining, then it's highly concentrated. And this is causing problems, health problems. So no, 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 no. So in this case, I actually do buy organic. And, uh, and I do try and source the broccoli. Um, is this bad for digestion, broccoli? There's so much on the internet about this. And I talk about this exact kind of thing in FoodWise. I don't think anyone's going to be eating that much broccoli. That should be a problem. Of course, it depends on how much fiber is in your diet. But in general, uh, too much fiber is not a problem for most of us in the United States, uh, especially for children. And um, and really, the trick here uh, with children eating broccoli is adding it to a dish they love. And uh, and I'll tell you one dish that they may love is in my book, and that is for the fried cauliflower. Now, cauliflower is not bro broccoli, but it is a brassica, and um, in that family. And uh, this recipe, which I just made a few days ago, is really delish. It uh, and it's also one of the recipes I'm offering <coughs> in uh, in January. Uh, on my landing page, ggberardi.com. So I encourage you to take a look at it. It's actually sauteed broccoli after it's been rolled in eggs. We're using the eggs. Uh, and cornmeal. And that's very yummy. 
Last thing I wanted to mention was that it is Brassica week, January 11th to 15th. So, um, so I'm going to post here uh, a note from Oregon State University, Assistant Professor Lane Selman. And uh, the topics this week, Monday, and these are on YouTube at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time and 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Monday is uh, baffling brassicas. Tuesday is traditional Italian brassicas, uh, including Folaro di Creazzo, Broccolo di Bassano, and Verza Moretta cabbage. And then Wednesday is from land race to modern hybrid broccoli, the genomic and morphological domestication syndrome within a diverse broccoli. Uh, Thursday is Brassica fusion breeding and Friday is rooting for rutabaga. So I'll have uh, a link for you uh, in the blog and I encourage you to go to the blog, have a link. Uh, if you want to see the step-by-step -step process of cutting, cleaning, steaming this delicious vegetable.